lady said, don't park over there because you'll get a ticket. The warden's just come along, seen the double yellows, a ticket them. Take a look at the view. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Kissing gate. <laughs> yeah. Take a look at the view. Just round this corner there. Oh, there's a United Kingdom sticker. Look at that reflecting in the sun. Beautiful day today, nice blue skies. Oi! And now Daddy is going to make some food, aren't you, Daddy? So get the trusty eco flow out. Yeah. If you guys don't have one of those, you need to get one. They're awesome, aren't they? Yeah, this this eco flow is really good because it's so like it's dead easy to move around. It's 800 watts, but it does handle for some reason. It's got some special technology. It does handle the air fryer, which is about 12, 1300 watts. That's pretty cool. Ooh, look at all that. I don't know why I've still got my sunglasses on. <laughs> have a look at what junk we bought from the shop. It cost about 300 quid. And most importantly. <laughs> Chocolate cake. Are you having chips as well? No. I've never known what it looks like. Whoa, I didn't know these were so small. Look how small they are. That's a bit weird. <clears throat> well, we had our dinner and now it's time, very exciting, for some chocolate cake. I'm a chocolate kid. Mmm, look at this beauty cake. Mmm, oh, so good. Ooh, oh, that looks weird. Mmm, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try it without the sauce first. Yeah, without the sauce. Do you mind? <laughs> yes, I do mind. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> For sale. No, free, actually. <laughs> do you mind? So where's that sunset? <laughs> there ain't going to be one now. It's all flooded over. Look at that. All gone gloomy. Beautiful, though, even though it's like gone dark and gloomy. What do you think about those colours? Very sunset, sunsetting, beautiful. Stunning, that, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Even on the hills up there, but you can see it. Well, that's exactly why we came here. Hoping for a sunset. There's a couple of good spots in the Lake District to get good sunset shots from. Uh, this isn't one of them, but it's not far from one of them, which I'm not going to tell you too much about because we're going to go there tomorrow. But yeah, great way to spend the evening. <laughs> yeah, one side of the camera is beautiful and the other side is full of just a weird kid. <laughs> what's happened to your head? What's happened to that? Ow! And what's happened to my blistered hand? You got a blister? Yeah. Too much lying. Amazing. What a great sunset. Absolutely beautiful. Well, we're going to say goodbye now. So tomorrow we're going to go on another bit of exploring. Probably going to go over one of the passes um, down over to Buttermere. I'd like to go to Buttermere. I've not been to Buttermere yet. Purely because it's about 20 miles from our house, but it's as far away around the Lake District as possible that we could get to. So it's actually quite far, even though like, as the crow flies, it's not that far.
we're about to move on. Good little parking space this is. In, in between kind of... Well, it's not too far from Keswick. Keswick is literally just that, so it's not far at all. So we're going to get off the ramps, move a little bit further up the road to our next destination. Who knows where that will be. Right, so we've just come to a place called Moss, Moss something, Waterfall. I can't remember the name of it, um, but it's just up there, which you'll see in a minute. I think I'm just gonna put on a, I'm gonna put on a jumper. Yeah, I'm gonna put on a jumper because it's a little bit windy and it's definitely, um, definitely cooler. Now we're up the mountains, hello. You ready to walk up the mountain, yeah, uh, yeah, up yeah. to the waterfall? Mass knockerous. cushion on my seat. Two can play that game, trickster. So this is where we've parked. Apparently it's four pounds to pay. I've got to change the price. So let's go and pay. Bus come in. Please pay here. Oh, it's coins only. of going off the edge then. The guy that gave us the ticket and the lady said don't park over there because you'll get a ticket. It's really weird because there's a sign there that clearly says you're allowed to park there. So I think what's happened, because there's these double yellows, I think what's happened is the wardens just come along, seen the double yellows, and ticket them. The rules are, if you're parked on the other side of a double yellow, you can get a ticket, so it's very misleading. It's very misleading, that is. Let's go. Let's explore the lake. <laughs> what a carry-on. Electric bike. Let's have the door open if we stayed here, couldn't we? Yeah. Why? 
Last week I was in A&E, um, seven days ago, unable to put my foot inside a shoe and put my heel anywhere near the floor. Now it's significantly better, but it still hurts a lot. Now one of the things that I wanted to do was go high altitude training in Fort Remo in France where we went in 2020, 2021, but I'm not fit enough. And the amount of injuries I've got is unbelievable. I've got sciatica in my right side. I get pins and needles when I sit down all down my leg. And I think what I've done, despite what the doctor said I've done, I think I've got a trapped nerve, uh, I can't remember the name of it now, but they call it Baxter's nurse, Nerve Syndrome. And there's a nerve that runs down that spine, it splits into three, but it runs down as a muscle that, I actually get a lot of swelling on this side and I think it's compressing on the nerve uh, and causing pain. It, basically the nerve goes under your heels, so as soon as you put your foot on the floor it hurts. But, worst thing's happening in the world than that. Yeah. So let's go run in. It will be, just go on the grass bit. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just gotta not survive. Strike in the wind of hopes now. Look at these on my mind. You've taken off with the crown. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. Just go, I've got you. Isn't it? Go, 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 all the way up. So you get to the big one. No, keep going, keep going. My, my foot is still really sore, definitely improving. I'm pretty certain it's a trap nerve, it's not plantar fasciitis. I don't think any breaks on the heel have got anything to do with it. But yeah, it's still, it's still really sore. Eee! Just carry on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Careful. Loop tick. On to the middle. Yeah, she's off. Not again. Yes, again. <laughs> Go. Ellipse. Yeah. Well, I didn't expect that. Mika's not seen it yet. Keep going. Stop. Well, <laughs> um, right. Okay, interesting. How are we going to get through here? Alex, how am I supposed to get across here? Um, it's is deep. Ready? I just got wet. 
Whoa! <laughs> okay, not quite James Bond. <laughs> okay, can I keep going? Keep going. I think that was a film, a movie set. It looks like they're all packing up. Very cool. Good run out. Yeah. Bring it round this side. Say so what? Party on the bridge? Yeah. Party on the bridge. Everybody party. time we came in the police turned up and um, we had a really interesting conversation with them actually about Sellafield. They're from Sellafield. They do like local patrols. Civil nuclear constabulary. Is that how you say that word? They um, they do all like patrols around the area and stuff just making sure there's nothing dodgy going on because obviously they've got to look after Sellafield to make sure uh, nobody's up to no good. But yeah they told us all sorts of stuff last time they came down. It's quite interesting talking with them. Yeah, it's pretty windy eh? and pretty cold as well. Temperatures dropped quite a lot. Apparently, it's going to rain tomorrow. Yeah, so those beach huts are really cool. Really want me to drink coffee? Yeah, just a little sip. Right. Should I drink like oh, that? Man, <laughs> The people who are just parked next to us just had a little chat with them. Um, they're down from, I think it said Hertfordshire, um, visiting the Lake District for the weekend. They said they absolutely love it up here. They can't wait to come back again, which is always nice when people visit and uh, you know say how good it is. And then another guy just came over. He's over there with his kids. Just went to the shop, bought his daughter a, a fishing net and it broke instantly. <laughs> so he just came over and said, have you got any tape in your van? Let me just show you something. Go and have a look at that sign up there. A man went crazy and started shooting people around here with the guns. Why? Yeah, so, um, can't remember what it was. Can't remember 
the full story, but yeah, he basically went round in his car and just started shooting people. He shot a lot of taxi drivers, if I remember correctly. So I don't know if he was a taxi driver or he had like a problem with taxi drivers, but yeah, pretty sad, pretty sad story. But there's a, quite a few of these little sort of plaques around in different places. Um, but yeah, just imagine now, just being stood here like we are now, and next thing you know, some guy pulls up in a van, just pulled a gun out and started shooting. I think he had a shotgun. Just pulled it out and started shooting people. It's crazy. What the hell is wrong with people? Just think all those, all those years, all that, that time spent working and effort and brain and thinking and, and someone just pulls a gun out of you and shoots you. Craziness. Absolutely crazy. What is the world coming to? Anyway, we are here for a short while just to expel a little bit of energy from Amika and then we're going to go and find a park up, quite a fancy mountain park up tonight in the clouds. That would be quite good. The weather's not looking great tonight and tomorrow, so it might be a bad idea. Well, it won't be a bad idea, but it just means it'll be quite windy. See which way the wind takes us. All right, let's go and plan the park. Check out this park, it's absolutely amazing for kids. <laughs> This kid goes from crying to laughing instantly. <laughs> weird, weird, weird child. What's in here? Let's check it out. Let's see what's around here. 2000 after death. Here we go. Bayonet. <laughs> Bayonet. <laughs> What's that? What do you think it's called? Bomb. Cannon. Oh, cannon. No, it says that in This cannon was presented to Seascale in July 1998. Oh, yes. You see what's on the floor here? Yes. What is it? Numbers. What for? Dunno. So, there's the months of the year, and then there's numbers, look. British Standard Time, Greenwich Mean Time. <clears throat> so it's a sundial, but I don't understand. Where do you have to stand? 6 a.m. So if it's 6 now, where's 6? 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Does it make sense? Or is it to do with a shadow or something? Maybe it's to do with the shadow. Where's the shadow then? Right, we might be a minute trying to work this one out. What month is it? July. Okay, Stand so on July. Stand on July. The sun. Look at your shadow. Ah, you've worked it out. You're clever, aren't you? And, then and we said it's six what? Eighteen. So that where's the sun? So if I stand, let me walk to the sun. So your shadow is where that piece of grass is. Hold on. Wait, where's my shadow? I don't see. Well, there isn't one. It, yeah, it was about here. So it is, right? That's brilliant, isn't it? How clever is that? Well done for working that out. I didn't realise that at all. Amazing. Right, Ed, we're going to go and try and find ice cream now. Yeah, yeah. We probably can't find any, though. 